Hey guys, just a really quick one. Um, so, yeah, I'm in the greenhouse and I'm looking at figs, as <laughs> as I am most of the time. Um, you can see I've potted up a few of them. So this is the what was meant to be Black Madeira. Um, potted it up now into a 15 litre. So it was in like a 5 litre. So, yeah, it's it's got a lot more space. Um, I'm hoping that means the next year it'll, it'll you know, be able to get a good start to the season and like produce quite a few uh, figs. I'm pretty sure it isn't Black Madeira, but I want to see next year to see if the figs change because there were a couple of other channels on YouTube where they their Black Madeira put out some very odd looking figs for the first year. And then I think they kind of normalized. So I want to see if that happens to this one. Um, quite excited because this, this fig here um, is Colder Darm Gigantina. Um, and yeah, I don't know why, I just have some affinity to this one. But um, you can see this fig here is starting to swell. Um, it's got some like really beautiful kind of. It's really difficult to like cracking around the sort of like concentric circles around the eye. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not drooping yet, but it's start, starting to kind of soften up, so hopefully soon. This is the Vedino del Nord, and there's a, there's a fig here which I was going to pick yesterday, but I thought, no, just give it one more day. I think I'll pick it now, although it's still reluctant to come off. Um, no, I, there wasn't any latex, so... Um, yeah, I was excited about this. The first fig that I had from this um, variety was quite thick, and I really, really loved that. Um, the second one I had, it wasn't, I don't think it was quite as ripe, because it didn't really blow me away. The problem I did have before is that they all split, whereas this one seems to have not done that in the slightest. So, yeah, quite strange. Um, and I've got... You can see there's one ripening there, there's another one there, and then there's a tiny baby one. I don't think that'll ripen. But anyway, I'm going to go and give this a taste. Okay, so here it is inside. It looks promising. It looks like, yeah, how I remembered it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a quick taste and see what this one's all about. Wow, yep. No, that... That is like the first one where I, I think on the video it said this is what I thought figs should taste like. It's really, really thick and really, really sweet. Like, super sweet. It's definitely... I think it's better than the... Um, the supposed Black Madeira that I had. Um, so, yeah, I'm super happy about that. It's It's... Um, it's definitely got the berry flavour, which is what you, what I would kind of want from a fig that looks like that. Um, and it's super thick. I, I really love the consistency. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with that. Um, which means that I will be potting that one up as well into a much bigger container because it would be lovely to have quite a few of these every year. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That is Vidino Donald, and I'll speak to you soon.